all Giga factories side by side. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Giga Shanghai. There's a new elevated utility bridge connecting the substation slash power plant at the northwest corner to the new phase three buildings in the northeast area. The buildings in the northeast area are also progressing at a speed I can only describe as Giga Shanghai fast. A deeper section has been excavated in the middle of it to allow for heavier foundation work. The extension on the east side to the north of Phase 2 continues its progress as well, with much of the space now covered and additional framing work done to nearly complete what we suspect the final footprint will be. The extension to the south of Phase 1 on the west side has been well excavated. This likely indicates that there will soon be massive foundation work in this area to support something of tremendous weight, perhaps a new stamping or casting machine. The bridge and eastern access road is getting its final touches. The span itself appears largely complete, and the roads are getting their final paving work done to allow for use and opening in the next, I would say, two weeks or so. Footing work in the southeast corner between phase two and the wedge-shaped building has continued. These will allow for some serious weight, though it's unclear what you'd want to build in such a small area with such serious footings. The area cleared out between buildings on the east, which had dozens of pilings last week, appears to have a lot fewer this week, though there aren't many pile drivers here, so they're either taking a slower approach than before, or they're being used in another area we can't see, which seems unlikely. I, I, I just think, I just think that they're already putting them in and that they're done. The perimeter road along the northeast area has been demolished, and it's unclear the reason for this. My speculation is that the loading area will be extended east into the former melon farm, and that will require bringing both areas to the same grade. Fill material from the dredging has been placed into the eastward expansion area. While I'm not certain this will make for the sort of soil you'd want to use to build something heavy, it's certainly adequate for parking, and anything can be made buildable with sufficient pilings. We haven't seen official word on the new boundaries of the Giga Shanghai site, but it appears likely that it may include the entire area where fill and grading is being placed at the very least. Pouring of concrete in the eastern expansion may be complete, or at least on hold for now. Giga Berlin. Phase one, at least on the outside, is positively winding down. Along the south side of the building, the front, if you will, the exterior walls are nearing completion. The roof segments are almost entirely in place, and the fire escapes are essentially done. Most of this shortest part of the building, which is still taller than the majority of Shanghai's first phase, has the finished roofs installed, which includes two layers of insulation and a sealed barrier atop it. The only part of the building that doesn't appear two to three weeks from closing up entirely is the casting area, which is likely only a week or two behind it. And while we can see the ground being cleared elsewhere on the site, phase one of Giga Berlin is rapidly approaching the finish line. I made a video on January 17th called Giga Berlin is five months from production, where I made the exceptionally bold claim that they would do, you know, what I just said. That would be May 17th. This week, the Model Y order page in Germany changed from saying available in 2021 to available mid-2021, which further supports this conclusion. 
And for real, if you guys want to know this stuff weeks or months before it's actually announced, you gotta follow me because my theories are awfully good. A commenter on another video said it would be impossible because the new 4680 battery cells couldn't possibly be ready to manufacture in time. But I don't see how that's possible. If the Cato Road pilot plant is dialed in, they will just duplicate it in Berlin or even just ship all the components over and reassemble them on site for use. I mean, for that matter, if the 4680s are already being made, they could be stockpiling them to make the transition happen that much more seamlessly. Thank you as always to Tobias Lind for allowing us the use of his footage. He makes more videos during the week, so if you still need more, which let's be honest, we all do, he's got you covered. Giga Texas. The roof has continued expanding to the northernmost part of the building. There appears to be wooden framing installed around some parts of this section. The small water retention pond here has been filled back in, which is interesting, I guess. In the casting area, we've seen work continue and maybe even complete on the first Gigapress installation. A bit more work has also been completed on the prefab concrete in this area. On the eastward extension, we've seen a lot more roof pieces installed and the building continues its rapid march south, where it now connects to the main building area on the east central side. It also connects to the western building along what was once believed to be a central roadway. All of these steel buildings are now connected. That formerly freestanding building, unique in that it's uniformly two floors throughout, has a lot more roof installed and already has concrete floors poured on the upper level. This building has continued its march south toward the Stamping Cathedral, with the last area of footings and foundation work having been installed. Mountings have been installed in the cathedral, which will soon allow for the installation of the bridge cranes, which will be used to move exceptionally heavy machinery and components around the space more easily. This is helpful when retooling the stamping for different parts or models, and also allows for easier replacement of components otherwise too heavy to move. There's a lot more concrete flooring in here this week, as well as more on the roof as well. They've also begun installing hardware for HVAC ducting on the interior. Additional wall panels have been attached to this building as well. Big thanks to all my viewers and subscribers, and especially my Patreons who make this channel possible. Welcome to Jonathan Drake and Joseph Liebers at the cool level and Cereal Spiller and Thomas Cadillac at the very cool level and Solomon Sampson at the Coolio level. Your support allows me to dedicate the time needed to actually do this and I thank you guys so much. The steel structure on the west side has grown larger, with the addition of a lot more frames and roof covering, and quite a bit of interior concrete work on the floors. In addition to connecting the main steel structure, new segments are being erected further south. Don't forget to check out my weekly progress tracking series for Giga Texas, where I count every bit of progress across the entire grid of the entire site to work through some of the elaborate guest math trademark showing the projected date of completion. In the northwest corner, the GeoPeer work has been constant and may be nearing completion. We may expect to see footing work begin in this area in the next couple weeks.
If you appreciate these comparison videos, please subscribe so YouTube knows that these are the kinds of things that you want to see more of. There's been a significant amount of site grading in the area originally designated as the temporary and permanent switchyards, which is where high voltage power coming into the site is stepped down for use. There's also been a lot of earthworks near the old concrete bag plant and also in the southeast corner. There's a lot of earthworks going on kind of everywhere is kind of a what I'm saying. A massive development spot of this week by the amazing Quad Squad in Austin was the delivery of 75 robots of the type used in auto assembly. We don't know 100% that that's what they are, but considering their size, shape, and the delicate way they were handled and immediately stored, there's just nothing else that fits the description. They're being stored in these 50 plus matching containers. Significantly more contractor trailers, temporary on-site offices, have shown up at Giga Texas this week. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you floppy robots on the meat cleaver.